Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled Martian Chiaroscuro. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a small portion of the surface of Mars. Now, what is it with all of the light and dark areas? Well, the lighter areas are actually peaks of the sand dunes that we see on Mars. So dunes that are there and the lower peaks, lower pieces, the darker areas would be the valleys. And what we're seeing is this is taken when the sun was very low in the sky. So about five degrees above the horizon. Now to put that in perspective, your hand, your fist held at arm's length is about 10 degrees. So it is about half the diameter of your fist. And that's all the sun was above the horizon. And of course, as we know here on Earth, when the sun is very low in the sky, it will cast very long shadows. And only the higher peaks will be illuminated in valleys may already be in darkness. And that's what we are seeing here. Now you can also see many of those dunes there, uh, the rippled material caused by winds on Mars. So as the wind blows much as it would do here on Earth, it would actually cause the uh, Martian areas to form dunes as well. And you can also see the whiter frost areas that form as well. So it's a very cold area that we are looking at. As we look towards the southern part of Mars where winter is now approaching. So we can see that here we can also see the reddish color of the surface of Mars caused by iron oxides in the soil there. So iron essentially rust is gives Mars part of its color that a lot of the iron is tied up and combined with oxygen to make iron oxide we also know as rust and that gives a lot of the coloration to Mars that we see. So Mars in many ways is the planet that is probably most similar to Earth. In terms of size, we actually see that Venus would be much closer. But in terms of a lot of the features that we see on the surface, we often get a lot more similarities with Mars than we do with any other planet. So in terms of looking at sand dunes, in terms of looking at polar caps, in terms of looking at the seasonal changes that we get, all of that is much more similar to the Earth than what we'd notice on any of the other planets. Now this image was taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has just a few weeks ago celebrated its 15th anniversary of its launch from Earth. So 15 years ago, it was on its way to Mars, uh, much as the Perseverance rover is on its way to Mars right now. So what we have learned from here over 15 years, uh, a lot of interesting material from this. And what will we learn? What will we know 15 years from now uh, from explorations of the rover, the Perseverance rover, and of course, the Curiosity rover, which is currently on Mars. So that was our picture of the day for August the 29th of 2020. It was titled Martian Chiaroscuro. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.